Welcome along. Good afternoon. Let's start, though, on a Monday afternoon by speaking to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano joins us live here on Transfer Talk. Fabrizio, thank you very much for your time. We have to start with Cristiano Ronaldo. Came off the bench, but the story is that he started on the bench. Does he want out of Juventus? Yes, what we know is that it's a complicated situation because Cristiano Ronaldo is seriously considering the opportunity of leaving Juventus this summer in the coming few days, but it's really, really complicated. It's really difficult because as of now, in the last three months, he has not received any correct bid, right bid, uh, neither Juventus, so the situation is really quiet because no club at the moment are approaching Cristiano Ronaldo. He's still hoping to find a solution, but from Juventus what they say is we have not received any proposal and we count on Cristiano Ronaldo for this season. That's why the situation at the moment is still quiet, but Cristiano was on the bench because of this. So let's see what's happening, but as of now, I say Juventus are convinced that Cristiano will be staying at the club. So with eight days to go, can you see him leaving? And if he does leave, who could potentially afford him? It's a complicated situation because uh, from Real Madrid, Carlo Ancelotti said no to the opportunity of re-signing Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, from what I know, Paris Saint-Germain are not looking at Cristiano Ronaldo as one of the options. They have signed many players this summer, so they are not looking at Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's see what happens. But as I say, as of now, there are no bids for Cristiano and only something surprising could happen if he will really leave Juventus because I want to say again that Juventus are really convinced that at the end of the market, Cristiano will be playing for Juventus. Let's talk about Harry Kane as well. He's another forward who came off the bench uh, yesterday. Time running out now if Manchester City want to do a deal for Harry Kane. Do you think they will? It's getting complicated. It's getting complicated because, as you say, time will be key in the coming days to understand what's going to happen. And now it's time to, to decide Manchester City at this bit, from what I know, in place for 150 million euros for Harry Kane, so they want to try and try again in the coming days, in the coming hours. But from Tottenham, the answer is always the same. They want to keep Harry Kane at the club, and that's why it's getting really, really difficult now. Uh, Harry was on the pitch, and it means that Tottenham really count on him till Manchester City are not going to change the situation. So it's a poker game, I would say, and it's really, really complicated as of now, because from Daniel Levy and Tottenham, the answer is always no, no, no. Also, Man City are not giving up. Tottenham, we know, have been looking for players to play alongside Harry Kane in their search for transfers this summer. Adama Traore is a name that we've been reporting about. Is he of interest to Tottenham? Yes, yes. It's one of the priorities now for, for Tottenham. They are looking for a winger. They had three names in the list. One of them is Madweke from PSV, but PSV doesn't want to sell him this summer after losing many players. And that's why Adama is now the priority. Obviously, with Nuno, the link is that he wants Adama back working with him. So there are chances for Tottenham to make a bid in the coming hours for Adama Traore. He's one of the players appreciated by the board, by Nuno himself. That's why they're really convinced on this player and they're preparing the opening bid for Adama. So we'll keep an eye on this name because it could be interesting this summer to see this week to see what happens. Yeah, we can't wait to, to see what happens with Adama Traore. What about Chelsea? I mean, they've spent almost £100 million on Romelu Lukaku. Will they also go for a defender? We've been talking about Jules Koundé for a while now. Will they go for him in this final week? They are still working on it. They are still working on Kunde. He is the target as centre back, and they are selling as many players as they can in these days, in these hours, from Zapacosta to Ugbo to Bakayoko. They are working on many of goings to have money ready to bid again for Jules Kunde. He is the priority. He agreed personal terms from what I'm told with Chelsea. He wants to join Chelsea. He wants to play Champions League football with Chelsea. But now it's time to find an agreement with Sevilla. The deal started with Kurt Zuma involved in a negotiation. Now he is no longer involved in the talks between Sevilla and Chelsea. There are West Ham really interested in Zuma. Let's see if they will be able to find an agreement with Zuma on personal terms, but the domino would be with Zuma to West Ham and with Kunde to Chelsea. They are working on it. Let's see if they will be able to pay around 65 million for Jules Kunde. And Liverpool working on outgoings as well. Uh, what's the latest on Jerdan Shakiri? Yes, it's a done deal. They have an agreement in principle with Olympique Lyon for uh, Sheridan Shakiri. He had an agreement on personal terms in two weeks with Lyon on a three years contract. So Shakiri wanted to leave, wanted to try something new. And that's why now he's joining, he's joining Lyon. Liverpool will receive around 12 million euro add-ons included. And so everything has been completed in the last 24 hours. The, play is now, the player is now going to France to, to sign his contract, to complete the medical. And so Shakiri will play for Lyon. And just finally, as we've been saying, just over a week to go, Fabrizio, who should we be keeping an eye on over the next eight days, whether that's a team or a certain player 
that could be on the move. Any surprises, do you think, over the final week? I would mention Eduardo Camavinga, a talented midfielder of Rennes, fantastic player for the future because many clubs are interested. Manchester United approached him, uh, it was in June, and also Paris Saint-Germain have always been looking at him. Many clubs interested because he's out of contract for next summer, but from what I'm told, there are chances for Camavinga to leave Rennes this summer, in the next few days. Let's see if Rennes will receive the right bid, around 30, 35 million euro. Let's see which club will move for Camavinga, but there are chances for him to move, and day by day, We'll see what's going to happen. One of the most highly rated players, young players in Europe, Eduardo Camavinga. Thank you very much, Fabrizio. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you as always.